How much does balance improve your ability to go fast on the dirt bike? This was a question that came in from David after Ken Roxon had his first win after going back to the Suzuki as a privateer. I think this is a really good question and very observant on behalf of David because when you go back and you watch that race, there was so much conversation associated with Roxon's ability to stay in that deep rut that had started to develop during the whoop section. And I wanna encourage you as a rider, maybe possibly a racer or maybe a high level racer, high level amateur, even a pro, how much time are you spending during the day, during the week, during a specific training block working on balance. The official term is called proprioceptive balance. If you want to test your proprioceptive balance, stand on one leg and look across the room. Make sure that the leg that's off the ground is bent at a 90 degree angle. And after you get fixated on something, I want you to close your eyes and see how long you can stand before you start to lose your balance and or put your other foot back down on the ground. The physiological term is called proprioceptive balance. Now, when you do this, what you're going to realize is as soon as you close your eyes, you're going to feel your feet starting to grab the ground. That's proprioceptive balance. When our eyes are open, we can make some corrective measures. If you've ever swam in a pool with your eyes closed, you'll realize how quickly you go off course because you don't have your eyes to watch that black line at the bottom of the pool. When it comes to moto, the ability to go through deep ruts is all based on this ability to balance under acceleration. And it's a skill set that I don't see many people really working on. With our clients and in our membership area, we go through all the strength and conditioning tricks on how to build balance with power and how to build balance with muscular endurance. What I wanted to get across in this question that came from David is, how did balance result in Kenny being able to go through those whoops? It's because balance helps you control the motorcycle when the bike wants to side swap from left to right. You know that when you're front wheel heavy, you tap the rear wheel. You know when you're front wheel low, you, you panic rev. Proprioceptive balance is what helps correct the motorcycle when it starts to want to swap from left to right. And if you watch Kenny, there's a couple times where the bike starts to kick and he's immediately able to bring it back underneath him. There's proprioceptive balance. So very good observation on behalf of David. I wanted to explain the physiological side of it. Absolutely. When you learn to incorporate balance with power, balance with muscular endurance, and balance with speed, that's what you get. You get exactly what Ken Roxon produced this past weekend. So great job. Very good observation on behalf of David. Great question. If you happen to have a question, as I say at the end of every video, please feel free to hit me and my team up. We'd be happy to answer any questions, maybe address a personal frustration. Contact at CoachRob.com. We'll definitely take the time to look at it. We'll put it into a video format because we want to help grow the education in the moto community. So thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.